Welcome to the Sage 50 Cloud Pastel Accounting How-To Video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to resolve the problem when your periods are incorrect after running the year-end process. The very first check you are asked to perform after running the year-end is to go to Setup Periods and ensure that they are correct. In this instance, I can already see that it's showing period 1 to 12 and that my starting period is February and it goes until January. If this was not my intention, my year-end has run incorrectly and I need to investigate why this occurs. In this instance, I can very quickly see that my number of periods are 12, but that I've selected the option to use my last period as the first period of the next year. If I close the screen and I open my last year company, I will find that the setup is exactly the same. This tick means that whatever period is showing last will become the first period of the new financial year. This is not what I want, so I need to ensure that I untick this option. Unticking this option means that the period directly after my last period will become the first period of the new financial year. If I wish to keep March as my first period and I only use 12 periods, this would be the correct setup. I can then select OK. In this instance, I need to navigate to where I've stored my company folders and I need to remove the company that had the incorrect periods by deleting the folder. I can then rerun my year end by going to change year end. Please select yes on the preliminary checks and ensure that you have made a backup. Select Next and I can now recreate the company where my periods were incorrect and select Next. If you did not remove the company from Pastel First, it will advise you that the company is already registered on the server. If you click OK, it will still advise you that the company, however, has been created. Click on OK and click Next until you get to Process. Please note that the year-end process depends on the size of your data and this may take some time to run. Once the year-end process is complete, select OK. Again, go to Setup Periods and check that the periods are now showing correctly. If they are, you can continue. Now, while we saw the scenario where you tick the option to use last period as first period when using 12 periods, the setup can also be incorrect when using 13 periods and when you go to Setup Periods to check that your periods are correct after running the year end, you may see the following. Where again you see period 1 and here to 13. However, my first period is now April. Again, if I look on the left hand side, I can very quickly see why this has happened. Firstly, I've selected 13 periods, but I did not tick the option to use last period as the first period of next year. What this meant is that the very next period after my last period became the first period of my new financial year. Again, in this instance, you will close the screen and you will navigate to your last year company. Go to Setup Periods and if you're using 13 periods, you need to tick the option Use Last Period as First Period of Next Year or you will be extending your year end by one period and it will begin in April as you saw in my year end company. Ticking this option will mean that March will become the first period of my new financial year. Select OK and remember that you need to navigate to where you have your company data sets and remove the new company. Once you have removed the new company, you can then rerun your year end. Again, 
Again, if you are told that the company already is registered on the server, merely click OK and it will advise you the company has been created. Click OK again and then say Next until you get to Process. Wait for the year-end process to complete even if you get the program state not responding. Remember, the time that this takes depends on the size of your data set. Once it has completed, select OK. And then select Finish. The company that you ran the year-end in will open automatically. Select Setup and Periods and ensure that your setup and your periods are now showing correctly. The last option is if you have run the year end multiple times, so for example it will show 2022 to 2023. This means that you ran the year end, but you didn't realize you had run it and so you ran it again. In this instance, you need to restore a backup or you need to delete the new year company as we've done previously and you will need to reprocess the year end from last year. In the event that you run the year end, in the same company so you do not create a new company and you see that the periods are incorrect your only option is to restore a backup you can restore a backup by going to file restore select your previous year in backup so before you ran the year in once you have restored your backup go to setup periods and ensure that your periods are showing before you ran the year end. Ensure that the number of periods and the option to use last period or not is set up correctly as we have previously discussed. You can then reprocess the year end. Again, please ensure that you have a backup. Thank you.